Hey, Year 12s, thanks for coming, guys. It's nice to see you all. Julian's just arrived in the chat, which is amazing. Getting there on the reg slowly, slowly but surely. How is everyone this, this morning? Is it this morning? Just about. Just about. Hey, Marnie. Oh, how's it going, Marnie? Oh, Emmeline's decided to come along. Hi, Emmeline. Well, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> uh, doing well. There's Alistair. Hey, Year 12s, thanks for coming, guys. Alistair, Alistair, there you go, Alistair, amazing, got Alistair, wow, year 12 time flies, I know, right, I was here last lesson, slander, <laughs> oh, Emily, that's very, were, were you here last lesson, were you late, I feel like you're always late, Emily, I feel like you always, you always seem to be one of the last people to join, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just being like, completely Emilist, <laughs> see what I did there, Emilist, like, no, uh, I'm gonna stop at that point. Yeah. Oh dear. Blatantly Emilist. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Angel! Hi, Angel. We're not missing that many people now. We're missing Adam. We're missing Aisha. We're missing Isha, Murdo, and that's it. Melon's in the house. Tusk, tusk. There's Isha. Hi, Isha. Mark Isha in. Amazing. Get in there. Get in there. Uh, wh whose Wi-Fi is terrible? Uh, oh, Emmeline's. Ah, oh, Emmeline's is is Emmeline's terrible, or is Aisha's terrible? <clears throat> Who knows? Oh, Nick. Well, hello. Hi, Nick. Good to see you, dude. I get to mark you in for the first time ever. That's amazing. Yeah, Emily, uh, Meryl, that really doesn't help. I said both people's names. Everyone's Wi-Fi is bad. Uh, uh, I don't know about Isha's. <laughs> oh, dear. It's nice to see you, Nick. Ah, oh, Nick, it's been so nice to see that you've continued to fill out all the homeworks. Can I say, well, a massive well done to you. Like, seriously impressed, dude. You, you are officially the hero of the class. You've just been amazing. Thank you. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. You haven't been coming to the lessons, but you've still been watching them back and then doing their homeworks. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. That's amazing. There's Aisha. Hello. Hello. So just Adam missing. Adam tends to message me later on saying that he can't get online or find something or I don't know. Uh, I don't know where Murdo is. Uh, Murdo hasn't been coming for the last couple. Um, right, guys, I think I'm going to crack on. Let's crack on. Crack on. Okay, just gonna put my coffee down. Okay. I've had like 14 cups of coffee this morning. That's that's speed coffee, by the way. It's amazing. Share screen. Boom, boom, boom. Cam is the best, so worth it. Ah, oh, thanks, Nick. Appreciate that, dude. It's a really nice thing to say. Ah. Oh. Right, okay, guys. We're on. We're in. We're in. Okay, let's get rid of that. There we go. We're up and about. Up and about. We're on lesson 11, which is kind of cool. Okay, so today's title. Now, guys, I did set you a homework, but I set it really, really late, so I'm not going to go through that today. You probably saw that in the class. I actually owe you guys an apology for that. I was meant to do it on Friday. I know, right, Ange? My speed coffee. I, I can say the word coffee faster than anyone else in existence. It is a skill I have. It's a small skill. You know, but it's a skill. See, I can, I, can, I can even go faster. Yeah, if I actually have another five cups of coffee, I think I'll actually turn into the flash and I'll be able to say it so fast that it wouldn't act, it would become inaudible. It'd be amazing. <clears throat> okay, so lesson number 11, percentage yield and atom economy. Now, what I've actually done here is I was going through my lessons just earlier today and I just, I just wanted to really quickly have a look through our, our calc types that we got at the very beginning of all the subject uh, of, of, of starting A-level calcs and just to go through them to be able to tick them off. I think that's a really lovely thing to do. So we have to look at the A-level list rather than the GCSE list. But it's just really nice to do this every now and again to see how we're progressing. So we picked up AR and MR. Oh, going to make that fatter. Let's hope my, uh, my pen works properly today. So we've done AR and MR. We did formulae, we mentioned all the new ones. Yeah, we then, we've been working through equations, we did all that stuff. 
they ever did percentage composition. Did we do percentage composition? Uh, I'll just quit on the chat, guys. Can someone just quickly confirm that I did percentage composition? I feel like I may have skipped it. We have done moles in solids, solutions, and gases, which is really awesome. And we picked up pervert. Yeah, and then we talked about combinations. And then we've just done reacting mass. But I'm very aware that reacting mass is one of the hardest. This one here is one of the most important uh, because it is a really challenging thing. And uh, although I've done one lesson on it, I, I'm not satisfied with that. I'm definitely going to revisit that basically throughout everything. That's just going to become part and parcel of all of them because they now are in pretty much every calculation at A-level. So they're going to become a, bit, become a bit of a running theme for calculations. But today we get to tick off two, which is going to be really nice. We get to tick off these two. I'm going to do these in one go. Yeah, that's today's lesson. We're going to run through percentage yield and percentage atom economy. Okay, so go back to my lessons, lesson number 11. Okay, so recall percentage yield. So let's quickly have a look at percentage yield, box that off, because I don't think I need to spend an awful lot of time doing it. So let's quickly run through percentage yield from GCSE. I'm going to make my pen smaller. So our subtitle is percentage yield. Yeah, now percentage yield is all about, uh, do you know what, I shouldn't just do that one word. I don't think we did percentage composition. Oh, well, we can do that today. I can link that in, which would be nice. Yeah, so, but before we do that, let's do percentage yield. Yeah, so percentage yield, let's just do some quick GCSE facts. So facts. Number one, uh, do I want to put that there? No, it's a subheading. I'll go underline that. And then go facts, facts. Number one, we know that it's all about practicals. Yeah, all about practicals. This has really got no all about practicals. This has really got very little setting outside of a practical chemist. Yeah, we realize that this is going to, and as, as of A-level, all about practicals, brackets, it's going to be linked to reacting masses. Yeah, linked to reacting mass. Because what they're going to do is they're going to ask you, and we know that reacting mass is calculating our product. Yeah, we, we can predict our product using reacting mass calculations. And then we then it then flows directly into percentage yield saying, Stevens only made 10 grams when he expected 24. What's his percentage yield? So it's always linked to it, but it's all about practicals. Uh, fact number two, fact number two, uh, percentage yield, percentage yield is never, and I'm capitalizing that folks, yeah, is never 100%. Yeah, I'm doing the dot, 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 is never 100%. Yeah, this does not exist. This is because it's, it, it, no matter how good a chemist you are, you know, even if Mr. Duncan rocks up to do a practical, there are, of course, always going to be losses. Yeah, so percentage, is, percentage yield is never 100%. This is then going to get followed with trying to explain why we can't get that. And this all comes from GCSE. We all know this. Yeah, so why do we never get 100? I'm, I'm going to put this one on the chat. How many people can remember these? There are always four that I always go to directly. Uh, can anyone give me any? Let's go. So explaining reason, number three, reasons, reasons for less than 100%. Give me a couple on the chat, please. That'd be great. Transfer loss, love that. Transfer loss, by the way, comes in dead last, Emmeline. Side reactions, well done. I'm gonna go A, B, C, D, and E, yeah? So Emmeline has given me E, transfer loss, yeah? Transfer loss, that one comes in dead last, but the problem is that's usually linked directly to a question, yeah? Uh, I'm gonna put transfer loss, um, usually usually identified identified in methods in method questions method questions then we've got well done side reactions like that number two side reactions yeah side reactions slash and i've got to always give all these extra versions of this yeah, side reactions, alternative, alternative products. Yeah, that's a great one. Ranks number two. Like it. Emmeline, well done. Rank number one. 
incomplete reaction. Thank you. Emily has smashed all of these out of the parks. Come on, guys. Somebody else contribute. I'm still missing two. Incomplete reaction. There are still two, C and D. Come on, guys. Come on, someone can give me another one. Don't make Emmeline do it. Come on, come on. I can give you some hints. Okay, hint. Hint. Hint, 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 hint. Those are the only three I remembered. That's totally fair enough, Ange, it's very common. Yeah, you need all five. You really do need all five. This one, of course, is very important. Uh, the, clue's in, the clue's in the equation. <clears throat> the clue is in the equation. Uh, 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 that's, uh, it was, that was the song called uh, In the Equation. Yeah, uh, it was a big hit in the 90s. Mm, yeah. The clue is in the equation. Yeah. Come on, where is everyone? Come on. Come on, guys. It's there. Ugh. So, oh, CO2 dissolves in water, so not recorded. Oh, okay, Oliver. Oliver's given an example now. Oliver, which of those three does that class as? Is it A, B, or E? Oliver said the CO2 dissolves in the water, so not recorded. Which one would this be? A, B, or E? <laughs> Oliver, I love your example. That's a really nice example that's often talked about. Um, relatively rare at A-level, actually. Uh, is it? Yeah, it is. It is, because we don't tend to collect underwater in A-level. We always collect gases in a gas syringe. It's the improvement there for that one. Come on, B. Well done, Anch. Anch is absolutely correct. Uh, that's an alternative reaction, a side reaction. Yeah, just to show you, it's a side reaction. The example he gave that the CO2 gas that he's producing is going to react with water and turn into carbonic acid. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Side reaction. <laughs> it's cool, that. That's cool. Love it. That's aqueous, of course, and that's liquid. Look at that, three state symbols appearing on one equation. Awesome. I'm really disappointed that you guys didn't get the in the equation. C. Actually, it's not actually, it's actually D, this one. A reversible reaction. Yeah, guys, if a reaction is reversible, you're never going to get 100%. Come on. Come on. Yeah, the next one, the next one comes from me saying I've got... Uh, 10 grams of magnesium. 10 grams of magnesium, question mark. Really? <laughs> yeah, guys, that's the, that's the last one that people have missed. Yeah, how, how does this give us B? What's another reason? Another reason for us not getting 100% output? <clears throat> 10 grams of magnesium. Really? I, always, I love that. The way you can just ask a question by having the intonation going up at the, up in the, really? Yeah, amazing. Uh, inaccurate, no. Okay, um, right, Ansh, misreading of thermometers comes into transfer loss. We ought to do that, practical error. Yeah, I'm gonna actually add that one as F, yeah. Prac error, but this is practical Error. You are never, ever, 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 ever allowed to say human error. No, that is not. That's literally writing down, I'm an idiot. Yeah, that, that's what this means. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly put nota bene, putting this in red. Yeah, nota bene at this point. Yeah, nota bene. Human error is always wrong. Human error always wrong. Yeah, this is just the vaguest answer. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, but then the, you may get human error always, all wrong. No, always wrong. Never, ever, ever write that down in a chemistry exam. Ever human error. <laughs> it's garbage. Yeah, but you might have a misreading. 
Yeah, that does occasionally crop up in a practical. Yeah, practical error F, that is, but unusual, unlikely, rare. Yeah, that, that will be you, paper three only, and it would be the fact that somebody's misread something. Yeah, uh, and I understand where you're getting this from, Anch. Let's say you've assumed that you've measured out 10 grams, but just do you really have 10 grams of magnesium? Okay, I'll give it to you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised you didn't get it. Impurities, impurities in reactants. We know that it's never possible to actually have 100% purity. Loss to the environment, that's, that's transfer loss, that um, Anch. Yeah, that's transfer loss. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, it's not actually. It's actually slightly different. Loss of the environment does every now and again come up if you've got a, if you're collecting gases, but you're usually not going to get lost. It's very rare. I don't like to include it. Yeah, impurities and reactants. So these are the ones you need to learn. Yeah, learn these guys. Yeah, learn. Learn. Yeah, and you need all five because what they're going to do at A level is they're going to ask you for three and they're going to get rid of two of them, and they'll probably get rid of these two. Yeah, they'll get rid of in, incomplete reaction and side products, and that's for others. Yeah, it's horrible when they do that. Because everyone's like, oh, those are the two I learned. Yeah, you can't get away with that at A-level. Got to remember that they're going to make the easiest ones disappear. Okay, so next thing. We now need fact number four is the equation. Yeah, fact number four. So how do we work out percentage yield? So percentage yield equals the actual... Prac output, actual outcome, actual output, brackets, prac, yeah, versus calculated, mm, calculated output, which is out, mm, output, yeah, and this is reacting mass times 100. So there's my equation, and that is so important. You've just got to know that one, guys. Yeah, that one, you've just got to know it. It's not, uh, by the way, this then gets shortened to actual over calculated times 100. It's not complicated, really easy. The next fact that we need to talk about is what's a good outcome? Yeah, because this is something that's often, and students find this really, really difficult. Yeah, because what they do is they're always wondering, they always say to me, so hang on a minute, if I get 60%, is that a good percentage yield? Yeah, what's good, what's bad? And, and that's actually a very difficult question to answer. And the way that we tend to always go on this one is number five, 90% yield or above, or above is deemed good. Good yield. Yeah. They're going to ask you to explain this. Yeah. And you're, the explanation to this question is explain. Yeah, and the answer is, and this is hilarious, yeah, Ex explain why good. Yeah, and the answer to this is only 10% lost. Uh, we got close to what we, what we calculated. Uh, you can actually say it in either direction. Um, only 10% lost. Uh, slash close, close to calculated yield, calculated output. Yeah, I know that seems bad that. Anything below 90 is deemed poor. Yeah, so everything else, yeah, below 90. Below 90 is deemed poor yield. Poor yield. <clears throat> Quick maths, 100 minus 90. I don't get it. Um, below 90 is poor yield. Yeah, uh, did not get close to explanation. Um, too much loss, did not get close to the real calculated version. Uh, so students then all have to often ask me, and, and, and that is the routine, just anything below 90 is deemed poor. However, there's an extra level of detail now in A level, and it's actually a calculation type that I missed. So we need to add this calc type to our list. 
Yeah, and along with percentage yield, we can, um, maybe I should tack it on in the end. Yeah, there is another calc type that you guys haven't done yet and we need to do. Yeah, number 15, whoop. Let's try and make my pen thicker, Bowser. Yeah, number 15, and that is percentage error. Percentage error. So let's go back to my other lesson. Just to explain, uh, poor yield, not near calculated. Um, there is an extra though, which is a nota bene in red. Ah, wowza. Nota bene. If, if percentage yield, if percentage yield is greater then percentage error than poor practical, poor prac skills. Yeah, I'll quickly explain what this means. Yeah, percentage error, percentage error is the, is the error in equipment, in equipment. We know that in equipment. If I'm attempting to give an example of this. Yeah, that one's worth knowing. <clears throat> Each equipment is given. This is where I'm going to cover percentage error as well. So extension. So percentage error. Percentage error. So if the percentage composition is no I, 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 be careful. Not percentage composition, Anch, percentage yield. Yeah. I knew you're going to do that. It's poor. It's below 90. <laughs> Percentage error of equipment. Of equipment. Is equal. Here's the equation. Percentage error. Equals the plus or minus value. Plus or minus value. I'll put in brackets. On equipment I'll actually write on equipment on equipment over value taken times 100 <clears throat> oh not value on equipment times 100 I'll explain this so you guys have been using a burette for years let's quickly show you this yeah Burette is the big example, by the way. Burette, let's just, I don't want reading. Mm. Let's just do burette and see if I can, it'll be interesting to see if I can find one. Images. Oh, look at that, super quick, found it immediately. Where is it? There, let's click, let's click on that one. Come on, there it is. Yes. Right, so. Just to show you. Oh, it's ruined it for me. Oh no! Oh no. Oh no, it's gonna got stuck. There's the plus or minus value. I can't get off that now. I'm gonna have to get rid of that now. There's the plus or minus value. Uh full screen snip. Just quickly show you guys. The plus or minus value is written on the equipment. It's there. So what that means is in a burette. Yeah, so the example, I'll put this one in a bubble as well. Yeah, plus or minus value over the volume taken, value taken. E.g., example, example, on a burette, yeah, on a burette, we all know the burette, yeah, it said plus or minus 0 0.1 centimetres cubed. It shouldn't have said milliliters. It was a squishy biology burette. Yeah, so the plus or minus is written on it. So we've got all of our lines on this, you know. Yeah, there's our plus or minus. So let's say we go percentage error is equal, percentage error is equal to the plus or minus value, yeah, over the volume taken. Well, what was our average tighter? Well, let's say our average tighter was 25.00. Yeah, that there is the volume taken, vol taken. Now, in a burette, how many readings did you make? This, what this is here, the plus or minus value. Yeah, this value here is the error in the equipment per reading. Error in reading. 
Yeah, so we realize that we're never going to get really, there's always going to be an error in, in what it marks on it, yeah? Um, so, and because in a burette, by the way, nota bene, burettes, you have to multiply by two because you take two readings to work out. You have to take the start volume and the end volume. Two readings, two errors. <clears throat> anyway, so the, the great thing is the equipment will tell you what the error is. So we've actually covered percentage error as well. Right, let's now put this into, and, and that pretty much covers everything. Once we've got the equation, the reasons why it might not be, and the comment on the yield, we're kind of done. That pretty much sums up GCSE percentage yield. Yeah? Now, I mentioned to you in, in uh, reacting mass that we're going to, of course, come across situations where they actually add percentage yield into reacting mass calculations. Yeah? And I'll come back to that, I think, at the end. Uh, the last bit, we've done percentage error on equipment. We've done percentage error, sorry, percentage yield on practicals. We now need to do um, percentage atom economy. Percentage, this is new to you guys. Atom economy. Okay, so atom, percentage atom economy is, uh, it's easier just to give the example, yeah? If I go H2 plus O2 goes to H2O, let's balance the equation. Yeah, don't need to do that, do it with a half, A level, love halves. Oh, I love halves, amazing. Right, so what we're doing in percentage atom economy is looking at how many of the atoms we put in went into the desired product. Yeah, percentage atom economy is about waste. All about waste, nota bene in red, yeah, nota bene. <laughs> All about waste. So, all about waste. So, the great thing is, uh, we can even make a note on this. Percentage of economy. The percentage of the atoms, the percentage of the atoms, brackets, input, used in desired product. It's really easy, this. So if you look at the equation I've given you, what we can see is that we've got our reactants that have gone in here, and we've got our desired product. Now, what you should, and I, here's, I'm gonna put it on the, on the chat. I'm not, I've only got seven people watching at the minute, but I think that's not entirely accurate, but anyway. Guys, can anyone want to guess what the percentage atom economy is for that reaction? What is the percentage atom economy for this reaction? I'll put that in actual question form question. I'll do it in black. Percentage atom eco for above reaction. And this one's this is this is actually something you need to really kind of latch on to. So the percentage of atoms input used in the desired product. Well, if these are all the atoms that went in, these atoms went in. And this is our desired product. Thank you very much, Oliver. Thank you. It's not complicated, is it? Yeah, this one is 100%. Let's do it in green. Answer, 100%. Yeah, no, um, no waste products. All the atoms that went in, and this is this is always what we want, yeah? We don't wanna waste products. Let's do the next one. Let's look at another example. Let's look at another example. Um, let's do, uh, let's make, um, let's make ammonia. So what is the percentage atom economy for this guy? On the chat, please. Question? Percentage atom ego? Question mark. Answer? Oh, shoot. Let's see how long it takes for it to appear on the chat. At this point, everyone should be contributing. Everyone who's still watching should be contributing. 
because hopefully you're going to recognize the similarity between the two questions. That's kind of the point. Come on, folks. You're better than this. I don't know what the delay is. Oliver, once again, scores again. The answer is 100%. No waste products. Thank you very much. And I've seen someone burn ammonia and they couldn't stop laughing. Ugh. Um, technically, you might make um, um, nitrous oxide. I doubt it. Yeah. So we can do it when we get back. Ugh. Making uh, nitrous oxide is not a particularly safe thing, actually. But And also, the burning of it is not correct. I'll, I'll charge you about that another time. But it is 100. Thank you very much, guys. No waste products. So everyone can spot this, 100% I'm lagging. Yeah, no problem at all, it's fine. So the question is, how do we do a more complex example? So let's do one. Let's do HCl plus sodium hydroxide going to sodium chloride and water. Now let's say we want, so the question would be first of all, what is our desired product? Yeah, question. Atom economy, atom eco for sodium chloride. Yeah, the equation's already balanced, so we don't have to worry about it. We'll cover that. That's a slightly harder example. Yeah, right. They're going to tell us the product. Uh, they're they're going to tell us the product we want to run atom economy for. So what that means is, in order to count the atoms, all we're doing is counting the ARs. So the percentage atom economy for this one, atom e, percentage atom eco, oh, sure. atom eco equals does, and here's your calendar, we're gonna put this in a box in a minute, desired over, uh, desired AR slash MR over total a R slash M R. Now you can actually do out or in. Now I tend to do out. Some students don't like it. Times a hundred. Put it in a bracket. Put it in a box. There it is, folks. There's your. So you've got picked up three equations. Oh wow, Oliver, you've done that fast. Let's check. Right. So let's now go. First of all, let's color code this. Desired A R or M R. Right, so sodium chloride is our desired. So desired, and by the way, this is RFM because it's ionic, relative formula mass. Yeah, and we've got one sodium chloride. That's 23.0 plus 35.5 equals 58.5. We times it by one since there is an invisible one in the equation here. Yeah, so there is the desired RFM. Now we want total out. I prefer out because we've already done half the work. Yeah, just a guess. Well, we'll find out. So what's the total output? You can do total input if you like. Yeah, because the total, in, if you've written a balanced equation, the total in is equal to the total out, and you've already done half the work, so you may as well do the total out. Yeah, so the total out is going to be 58.5 for NaCl and 18.0 for H2O. So the total output, add those together, 58.5 ah, 58 plus 18.0 gives me a total of 76.5 output. Right, now we just run the numbers. 58.5 over 76.5 times 100, and I get 58.5 divided by answer times 100, and I get 76. Point, what? 5%, that's hilarious. Really? 58.5 divided by 76.5 gives me 76.5%. That's hilarious. Lol. There we go. Times 100. 76.5. Amazing. So there's our percentage. Yeah? There's our atom economy. Now, the question is, is that good? Not really. It's below 90. Um, but we know that most reactions have waste. And that's actually a pretty good atom economy. Yeah, let's do question number two, or question number three in this case. Let's do another one. Let's do, um, 
Let's do, I'm trying to come up with one where the atom economy is going to be stupid low. Um, um, I'm trying to think industrially as well. I'm trying to think for a real equation. Uh, ooh, 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 uh, limestone. Limestone gets thermally decomposed to form calcium oxide and CO2. And again, the equations one to one, let's keep it easy. Yeah, here's our, what we want. We're trying to make quicklime. Yeah, this is limestone. And this is quicklime, which is used in industry to make cement, by the way, in concrete. Uh, quicklime or calcium oxide. Right, this is our desired. Desired. Right, guys, on the chat, please, can you pause your video? Pause the video, calculate the percentage atom economy and then join the video once you've done it and check to see if you got it right. Answer. Right. Percentage atom eco is equal to desired, desired MR over total MR out. Out's easier. We've already done half of it. Times 100. One mark for that. Input my data. Percentage atom eco. What did we desire? Calcium oxide. Calcium oxide, we need to work out each part. So our desired was calcium oxide, which is calcium at 40.1 plus oxygen at 16.0. So we get 56.1 is our desired. It's 0.1 over total. Well, we've already done the, we've already done that guy. If this guy here is 56.1, Carbon dioxide is the rest. Carbon is 12.0 plus oxygen at 16.0 times by 2, which equals 44.0. Love it. So we've now got over 100.1, 56.1 over 100.1 times 100, and I get exactly 56.0%. Well done. Three significant figures, folks. Try not to forget your three sig fig. But you're absolutely right. There's my answer. Nice. Thank you, all of you. You beat me to the answer. Well done. Right, let's make it harder. Let's make it harder. Okay, question number three. Let's go for, this is where I need to start. Let's say we need to make a, hmm, alternative product. Um, let's do, hmm, what do I want to make? Oh, I've got a good one. Uh, methane reacts with chlorine in an organic reaction called a free radical substitution. And I'm going to make CHCl3, so trichloromethane and HCl byproduct. Let's balance it. One carbon, one carbon, four hydrogens, four, oh no, hang on a minute. Got hydrogens and two things. Let's do... Let's do the, uh, if I do a three there, yeah, HCl. Now the chlorines, I've got, so that now adds up. Chlorines are three, six. So I need a three there. That should now add up. There we go. Okay, we're trying to make trichloromethane. This is trichloromethane. Trichloromethane. And this is our desired. Right, now we've got to consider numbers here, folks. Yeah, we've got to consider the balancing. So, what is the percentage question? Ah, percentage, oh, I'm sorry, percentage atom ego? Question mark. Pause the video and run it. Thank you. Okay, so we know answer, I'm gonna do it in red, percentage atom eco equals wanted wanted over total out times 100. Okay, so we've got to work out, so let's go wanted first, CHCl3 equals carbon 12.0 plus hydrogen 1.0 plus chlorine at 35.5 times by three. Total for trichloromethane. Each one of these would be worth a mark in the exam. Seriously, have you done that maths already? 
So 12 plus 1 plus 35.5 times 3 equals syntax error. Amazing. Man, you guys have beat me. 12 plus 1 plus 35.5 times by 3 gives me 119.5, first mark. Right, total out. Add on hit 3. That's the trap. Out, the, the, the waste is HCL times 3. That's the trap. H1.0 plus chlorine at 35.5 times by 3. No, hang on. Hang on. No, no, no. Total, 36.5, then multiply it by 3. 36.5 times by 3 is 100, 109.5. Right, now I can put them together. Yeah, I've got to give that's by the way, this isn't the total yet. I still haven't got a mark for this yet. So that's going to be so percentage atom eco equals wanted, always do that first, over the total output. Well, it's that plus that 109.5 plus 119.5. I'm going to lose that mark, about to lose it. I cannot do that. It's incomplete. I've got to add it up 0.5. So the ants there, and that's why it's worth one mark, 229.0. If anyone misses that, you lose it. Yeah, it's so easy to lose that mark. 119.5 over answer times 100, and I get 52.2%. Outstanding, guys. Well done. That was fast. You did that way faster than I did. How did you do it that fast? Uh, I'm a bit shocked at how quickly you did that then. Is there a trick that you guys did that I didn't know about? By the way, anyone who put 52 would lose it. You'd lose that mark. Yeah, just letting you know. So the people who got that right were Oliver and Anch. Yeah, Emmeline, Hamani, Meryl, Isha, Misha, you would all have lost that. You must give your answer to three sig fig. Must. Yeah, please make sure you're just such an easy thing to throw away calculation marks. It happens all the time. Don't be one of those people. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. We are just so pro, I know, right? So let's go, um, right, we're going to, this is gonna be a stupid reaction in terms of what we want. Yeah, let's say uh, we want to, oh, I'm trying to think of something really cool. And I don't wanna go crazy here. Uh, yeah, let's go for C, eight, H, Double and add two, 16, 18. Can someone give me the name of that organic compound, please? All right, balance the equation. Hydrogen's 18, nine. Oxygen's 16, nine. 25 divided by two, 12 and a half. I love A level. Two plus two is four minus I fats quick maths. What? <laughs> right. Desired product. CO2. We're gonna make we're gonna it's gonna be a weird thing to do, isn't it? Desired product. Right, guys. Atom economy, please. Atom economy. <laughs> See what it did there? Atom econo. Me question. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sorry. Right. Answer. Right. First thing, desired. Yeah. Desired equals carbon dioxide CO2 times by eight. That's the trap in it. That's what people are going to do. So carbon 12.0 plus high, no, plus oxygen. Yeah. 16.0 times by two, which is 44.0 times eight. 44.0 times eight gives me, so desired final answer, 352.0. Yeah, wow, Oliver's fast, well faster than me. Total out, yeah, total output. So I'm just gonna add on 352.0 plus, right, we need nine waters, yeah, nine H2O. Well, we've got H2O, which is H1, 
16.0 times by 2 plus oxygen at 16.0 times by 1, which is 18. We all know it's 18.0. Everyone knows water by now. Times by 9. Yeah, 18 times 9. 162. Yeah, so that's times by 9 gives me 162.0. That Now I need to add that onto the previous one. So the atom economy eco equals desired product 352.0 over 352.0 plus 162.0 gives me 514.0 times 100. Don't remember the times 100 up there. Yes. Uh, I don't know why, because you guys are good at maths. That is one of the most lost marks in uh, AS Calc. Everyone misses it. They just I don't know why they see it and they just translate it into percentage. Never had a problem in my in my very first school. The kids struggled with maths, which meant they didn't find it easy to do it. They 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 had to run it in their head. They had they couldn't do it. See the number in their heads. Uh, this gives us sixty eight point ooh uh, five percent done. Who got it? Manisha, Hermani, Emily smashed it dead easy. Right, guys, if you can do that, you can do anything that they throw at you. Right. So that actually now. We've got three equations that we've just picked up. Holy moly. Holy moles. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. So just to summarize today, summary. Yeah, we've covered three equations here today, folks. Can I make my pen bigger? And I'm going to make each of them a different color. So percentage yield equals prac output actual Prac out over calculated out times 100. Yeah, and it's all about practicals. Yeah, put that in a box. Number two, per, um, equipment error. Yeah, percentage error. Yeah, and this is all about equipment. Percentage error equals, yeah, plus or minus value on equipment, plus or minus value over value taken, over value taken times 100. And it's usually gonna be small, we know this. There we go, percentage error, there's equipment. Our last one for today, which I'll do in blue, le bleu, is percentage atom eco, atom economy equals. So this is your desired MR over total out. MR times 100. And we're done. That's it for today, folks. Boom. God, oh, it's easy to get confused between all of them, innit? That's, I mean, I didn't really intend to do that. The percentage error just kind of came out uh, as the lesson progressed. But that's what I need you to walk away with, guys. Uh, what I would like you to do, so I have already set you guys homework on the classroom. Get rid of that crazy way. I've come and ruined that, haven't I? Right, come back to here. Guys, I have set you guys, of course, a homework uh, on reacting masses. But what I will do is I will set you guys a second home, second homework on all of those three. Percentage yield, percentage atom economy, and percentage error. I'll do that. Um, but that brings us to the end of that. And that takes off a whole load of the A-level stuff, which is amazing. Just need to solidify this now, guys, with some homework questions. But otherwise, really pleased with that. Guys, I'm sorry it's been a long lesson in 48 minutes. I apologize for that. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your week, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Take care, guys. See you later.